Hi, Steve again, Mudbugs Golf Carts. Topic of the day, radios on golf carts. Man, that is such a great question. So many people call and say, hey, I can't catch any reception with my golf cart. Well, it's a golf cart, all right? What we put on golf carts are boat radios. They're made with 12 volt uh, input and golf carts are either 36, 48, or 72 volts. So we're converting higher voltage to a lower voltage. Now CDs and auxiliary input are always clear. If it's not clear, then you have something going on with it, a wiring fault in it. But on the FM reception, it has to do with the type of battery and also what brand uh, radio you have. I will tell you that the, the brand that I sell, that I use, has the least amount of flawed performance on the reception, but it still has flawed performance. The stronger, the stronger receptions will catch on. Um, now we'll say on most golf carts, easy goes, club cars, I will install the radio, two speakers, a, ra a rain bubble, an antenna for $259. I don't think anybody will touch that price and that's installed and I don't think you can buy that uh, online for much, much less than that. But we'll install it for you for free. We'll use the wiring where it's a copper wire coated with tin because batteries give off a lot of acid. It makes everything corrode. If you use a, a wire at AutoZone or Walmart, within a year all those speaker wires will rot. They're, they're actually going to corrode away and the, the radio is not going to work anymore. So, but on, on radios, usually simpler the better. If you use a CD radio on a golf cart, the dust gets in it, you'll have to clean it more often. So I stay away from the moving part partners of it and simple AM, FM, auxiliary input or Bluetooth or the features that you want and just stick to that. The other part is I see the overhead cabinets for radios. Well, golf carts really not heavy duty enough to carry a radio up top. And so within a year, it's gonna be squeaking and they show up and, and everything's gotten loose from all the weight up top from the radio. We like to put it in the dash, and so it's easier to use, and it stays in the frame, and there's not any, anything moving around, and placement of the speakers are critical too, and so we usually put it in places where the acoustics are better on it. So, but if you got any questions, go to mudbugsgolfcars.com and give me a call. Thanks.